On the news tonight, an Anambra State Governor Saludo presents scorecard after one year in office. Anambra government signs MOU with EEDC. NIMET expresses concern over rising greenhouse gases. Tornadoes devastate Mississippi, killing 23 people. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good evening and glad to have you join us on the news tonight. My name is Maureen Stone Enijoki. In keeping to his promises of being accountable to Ndianambra as the chief servant of the state, Governor Chukuma Saludo was giving account of his, has given account of his stewardship and presented what the people of the state should expect from his government going forward. In doing that, Governor commended Ndenambra for their support by appointing key actions taken towards achieving security, law and order, infrastructure and economic transformation, digitization of economy of the state, among others. Government House Correspondent Valentine Madoya has the details. He captured achievements on agriculture, health, transportation, entertainment and leisure, education, youth empowerment, and explained the agenda to perfect all the sectors, assuring of prudence and to remain accountable while managing the resources of Ndianambra. He harped on the need for public, community, private partnership to be activated effectively and as well the need for Ndianambra to support the transformation through payment of taxes and being law-abiding. Governor Soludo promised to do his possible best to fulfill his promises to Ndianambra, assuring that there will be no excuses. The chairman of the occasion, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyangu, in his opening remark commended the resilience and dedication of Governor Soludo, adding that Anambra is blessed to have him at this time. When you voted for him to be governor, there was a great concern. Not only here in Anambra, but all over the land. Anambra, I want to let you know that in a large sense, this is a huge the event attracted the high and mighty in Anambra State and Nigeria, captains of industry, including the former president of Nigeria, Chief Olushegun Obasanjo, the deputy governor, Dr. Onye Kachuku Ibezim, the speaker, Anambra State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Uchenna Okafor, deputy speaker, Right Honorable Pascal Abodike, former governor of Anambra State, Mr. Peter Obi, Prince Ato Eze, Chief Emeka Ofo, Chief Austin Ogwejo for Iyom Bianca Ujuku and Chief Ebuka Onuku. Others were the traditional rulers led by the traditional ruler of Onicha, Igwe Alfred Achebe, President of Ohaneze Ndibu, Anambra State Chapter, Chief Emeka Udodeme, lawmakers both at the federal and state levels, among others. A short documentary on Governor Soludo's achievements were projected to climax the event held at the International Convention Center, Oka. Governor Chukuma Soludo has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Enugu Electricity Distribution Company, EEDC. Government House correspondent Valentine Mbadoha once again has the details. The MOU is geared towards ensuring steady and affordable power supply in the state to encourage industrialization, small businesses, and general well-being of the people. 
speaking during the event held at the executive chamber, Government House, Oka, Governor Soludo said that the target is 247 power supply in Anambra State. He said that power is very critical to the development of the state as it plays a major role in all sectors ranging from industrialization, health, education, technology, commerce, transportation, among others. The governor noted that with the huge investment in the power sector, more jobs will be created and more revenue will be generated for the achievement of a common goal, which is a livable and prosperous Anambra state. Governor Soludo said that execution committee will be formed immediately for speedy implementation. This is a very, very uh, auspicious uh, event and uh, I want to uh, believe that all the uh, parties involved will work expeditiously hard at it. Because for me it's execution, execution, execution. The chairman, Anambra State Power Committee, Engineer Chike Okonkwo, and the managing director, EEDC, Engineer Raven Korogade, in their separate remarks, said that the partnership is the beginning of the milestone that will be recorded in the power sector in the state. They called on the people to be cooperative to enable them to deliver quality, effective, and efficient services to the people. Sir Emeko Ofo, Chairman EEDC, on his part, expressed happiness contributing to the development of the state and commended Governor Soludo for his commitment towards transforming Anambra State to become livable and prosperous. History is going to be today. We will make sure that in the next 18 months, we will be a middle tax cities in Anambra will be communicating between 18 hours to 24 hours. Lady Ada Chukudozie, Chairman, Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MAN, Southeast, covering Anambra, Enugu, and Ebony States, in a vote of thanks, said the move will improve the ease of doing business and will make Anambra the first choice of every investment. It means prosperity for the state and it also means that people in the state will be more comfortable and that is one of the enablers of doing business in a state or in an economy. The event attracted critical stakeholders and top government functionaries, including Senator Ken Namani, Dr. ABC Ojako, Chief Ebuka Onunkwo, the Chief of Staff to the Government, Mr. Ernest Ezaji. Commissioner for Power and Water Resources, Engineer Julius Chukwemeka, MD, Water Resources, Anambra State, Chief Ikobi Ejiofo, among others. Official signing of the MOU by the parties involved climaxed the event. The Executive Secretary, Anambra State Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Pharmacist Chisum Uchem, says Governor Chukuma Soludo is determined to give the Anambra accessible and adequate healthcare system. Pharmacist Uchem made us known at Primary Health Center, Isofia, Aguata local government area, during her tour of PHCs in the state. Health correspondent Chibuzo Okoye reports. Speaking during the facility tour, pharmacist Uchem said that the tour became imperative for her to have a first-hand information about the PHCs in Anambra State as the new executive secretary. The executive secretary who said that Governor Soluda is determined to give the Anambra affordable, accessible and adequate healthcare system maintained that findings from the tour will help the agency to perform better and urged the Anambra to always safeguard the PHCs in their various communities. She further called on their workers at the various facilities to be responsive and diligent in their work in order to serve the residents better. Right now we have um, seen for ourselves firsthand not what we were told or what was in the paper. Today I was able to go to four facilities and got first-hand information on the services rendered by our people. The facilities are up and running. So I want to thank everyone who has been part of this tour, especially the working governor Mr. Governor, Professor Charles Chukuma Sabu, you have given us the support and, you know, getting us back in this tour that we are making. And we are very grateful that um, soon all the, the impact of this video will be felt by everybody in Anambra State. A stakeholder in Isuafia, Mr. Boniface Okafa, appealed to the agency to help them reposition the facility for it to be working optimally as it used to be when it was established. <laughs> Why not a
The executive secretary later paid a courtesy call on the traditional ruler of his Sofia, Igwe Lieutenant Colonel C.A. Omoalo retired, where she explained the functions of the agency to the monarch. Igwe Moalo commended pharmacist Uchema and her team for doing a great job and prayed God to sustain them, as well as the Anambra State Government. Because you for all of you, individually, collectively, so the may your way do possible. Kaisi kwe tu anaga. Anamason, oga dilo nyo wunyamwa. The team also visited Ozala Primary Health Care Center, Community Primary Health Care Center, Umweze, and Dehusigo Primary Health Care Center, all in Isofia. From Isofia, Agwata local government area, this is Tibu Zokoye for ABS News. The chairman of Post Primary School Service Commission, PPSSC, Oka, Professor Nkechi Ikedugu, has charged the Information Communication Technology ICT teachers to push the state forward in all that concerns ICT. The chairman gave the charge during a workshop organized for ICT teachers at the Gwebike Grammar School, Oka. We have the details. While addressing the challenges facing the ICT department in secondary schools in Anambra State, Professor Ike Dugu stressed the need for the ICT teachers to avail themselves of the new programs like robotics, edu programs, and tax them to develop new packages that will elevate the status of the education sector. She promised that the present administration of Governor Chuku Masoludo is passionate about ICT and will give listening ears to their pleas. Earlier, the president of the ICT Teachers Association, Mr. Chuka Olise, mentioned their challenges to include lack of ICT laboratories in schools, lack of facilities like projectors, laptops, internet service providers, generators, fueling, uniform curriculum, security, capacity building, among others. In her speech, the secretary, PPSSC, Mrs. Benedine Anago, urged the ICT teachers to strive to be abreast with the new programs in ICT, contributing the Director of Science and Tech Department, Mrs. Ebele Okudo, emphasized the use of NECO syllables for those teaching in technical schools and WASC syllables for those teaching in secondary schools for uniformity in teaching. In a vote of thanks, Mrs. Nwanneka Chukumezie, one of the ICT teachers, thanked the chairman for convening the meeting and pledged on behalf of their association that they would deliver. The United Nations Children's Funds, UNICEF, has ended its five-day medical outreach in communities ravaged by the 2022 flooding in Anambra State. Speaking on behalf of the community during the grand finale of the program at the Umobanam Primary Health Care Center, PHC, in Anambra East local government area of the state, the officer in charge of the, of the center, Mrs. Patience Okoye, hailed UNICEF for its assistance to the community. The outreach program, which was sponsored through Swedish International Development Cooperation Agency, CEDA, and Central Emergency Relief Fund, CEF, according to Mrs. Okoye, involved immunization of children and administration of COVID-19 vaccine to adults, especially women. Mrs. Okoye noted that UNICEF introduced several things, including distribution of classes such as biscuits, salts, and noodles, that made the outreach program attractive to the people and identified past supply to store the vaccines as part of the challenges they were facing and requested UNICEF to assist in that respect by providing them with solar energy power supply to enable them to keep their vaccines in a healthy state. Also speaking, Mr. Edwin Anekwe, the World Development Chairman, held to health workers in the PHC, especially Mrs. Patience Okoye, whom he described as down-to-earth and accommodating person, which he said made the five-day outreach program seamless and successful. Mr. Anekwe implored UNICEF and other donor agencies to assist the PHC with a borehole to assist in the area of water sanitation. And still to come on the news, NIMET expresses concern over rising greenhouse gases. Tornadoes devastate Mississippi, killing 23 people. Here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. A commercial break beckons. Stay with us. We'll be back shortly. Peak protein 
breakfast. Get swept to a great day. How do I know? Because my daddy goes to his work feeling good and always with a smile. Mommy is always filled with confidence. My sister is always in tune. And for me, learning new things becomes absolute fun. That's because all day and every day, the peak goes on. Start your day with a peak protein breakfast peak. Reach for your peak. Breakfast. Get swept to a great day. How do I know? Because my daddy goes to his work feeling good and always with a smile. Mommy is always filled with confidence. My sister is always in tune. And for me, learning new things becomes absolute fun. That's because all day and every day, the peak goes on. Start your day with a peak protein breakfast peak. Reach for your peak. Glad to welcome you back to the rest of the news. The Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, has raised concern over the continued rise in the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere with devastating global consequences. The agency worried that with the changing climate condition globally, it is clear that no country in the world is immune against the effect of the changing climate, whether as an emitter or non-emitter of these gases. The Director General, NIMET, Professor Mansu Matsazu, in his key notes address at the commemoration of the World Meteorological Day yesterday in Abuja, hinted that the world has seen ravaging storms cutting across several international borders during their life cycles. Professor Matsazu, while speaking at the event with the theme, The Future of Weather, Climate and Water Across Generations, said, as we may be aware, Every year on the 23rd of March, the world celebrates Meteorological Day. This day commemorates the coming into force on 23rd of March 1950 of the convention establishing the World Meteorological Organization. According to Matazu, prior to this date, the International Meteorological Organization existed since 1873 as the cooperation of international bodies of or institutions working tirelessly together, exchanging data and making forecasts for the good of all. At least 23 people have died after tornadoes tore through the U.S. state of Mississippi. More people are thought to be trapped under the rubbles of destroyed buildings. The twisters caused devastation in several rural towns where trees and power lines were torn down and tens of thousands of power outages were reported. Several other southern states are also braced for powerful storms. Hail the size of Gulf Wars and heavy rainfalls were reported in several areas of the state. Residents of Rolling Fork, a small town in western Mississippi, said that the tornado blew the windows out of the back of their homes. Mississippi's governor, Tate Reeves, said on that search and rescue teams were providing medical support to those affected. Other people were trapped in piles of rubble, while some law enforcement units are unaccounted for in the country of Sharkey. Sam Emerson from the School of Meteorology at the University of Oklahoma said that the extremely high caliber tornado lofted debris above 30,000 feet. Luciano Spalletelli has won the 2023 Enzo Bezot Award due to his incredible work with Syria League leaders, Napoli. The award, whose previous winners include Roberto Di Zabi, Roberto Mancini, and Carlo Ancelotti, is given to the best Italian coach of the year, chosen by a jury made up of representatives from the major Italian sports newspapers. Luciano Spalletti was given the Enzo Bezot Award in Naples. Luciano Spalletti had won it due to Napoli's electric work on the pitch this season. Speaking at the ceremony, Spalletti first discussed his work at Napoli and what he wanted from his team. Here is a special message. This is to inform the general public and in particular Anambra indigents that the sale of scratch cards for common entrance examination into Air Force Military School and Air Force Girls Military School JAS for the 2023-2024 academic session has commenced. 
prospective candidates how to purchase the scratch card and pass examination booklets at a cost of 1,500 naira and 500 naira respectively and use the information in the card to complete the online registration from on or before 2nd of April 2023 for purchase of the scratch cards and past examination booklets. Please contact the protocol unit, office of the secretary to the state government, government house, OKA, announcer, Professor Solo Chukulobelo, secretary to the state government. Remember, you can follow news and programs on ABS from many parts of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television OKA, subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television OKA, follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV and log on to our website www.absradiotv.com. And now a recap of the main points before we go. Anambra State Governor Saludo has presented scorecard after one year in office. Anambra government has signed MOU with EEDC. NIMET has expressed concern over rising greenhouse gases. Tornadoes have devastated Mississippi, killed 23 people. Here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saluda has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that was it on the news for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Maureen Stone in Good night and stay blessed.